blessings and blessings this video is um a response to some of the let's call it not so positive comments that i've seen about kobe bryant's death untimely death and his daughter's untimely death and all the other people in that helicopter uh but particularly kobe um uh, i'll start by saying that and this is this was on my page uh, when I heard the news, it hit me hard. I'm not going to lie to you. Um, as a father, you could have told me anyone just died in a helicopter crash, particularly with their 13-year-old daughter, and I would have been hurt for that father, for the mother that lost her husband and her daughter, for any of that. But have it be somebody who I basically grew up with, um, who I've seen before my very eyes transform as a man and it just goes a little deeper and um Kobe Bryant was literally a degree of separation for me I have a friend who's been in the NBA for 18 years um who has shared many stories on the Olympics and just many stories and we've been around and you know, what's been shared behind the scenes about who he was and how he showed up, uh, you know, represented somebody to me who had grown tremendously and who was just a really good human and cared a lot about the sport of basketball and being a father to girls and a husband. Now, there's been some talk and conversation about calling him a rapist and people being upset. <clears throat> Um, that other people are, you know, mourning his death because he had a rape case uh, that was settled out of court, I don't know, 15 years ago. Um, it's okay to, to, to be upset about some, those kind of allegations about anybody. Um, what I would offer as far as like, the timing of your upsetness is, uh, and I'm not religious, but there's this, uh, this, this Bible verse, I believe that says, um, he who is without sin cast the first stone. And that essentially means, and is saying like, yo, if you haven't, if you're perfect, go ahead and throw the stone, kill him. But if you're not, shut the hell up. And let people mourn. Let people feel what they're feeling without you adding your two cents. I'm not a fan of the current president of the United States. And if that dude was hurt, I wouldn't say a damn word. I would actually feel bad for his kids. I would feel empathy and also be with, hmm, and have compassion for the people who do like him. Even though I have my own beliefs about how he's showing up and all of the things that he's done and is doing by way of just his way of being in our country right now. So how dare you? And you know who I'm talking about. Some people put some comments on my page. And I took those comments off because it took away. People started commenting back and it became this vigilante and this debate when it didn't need to be that. This man died with his 13 year old daughter. How would you say to her on the way down? And the other families, what do you say to your kids? I just ask that anybody watching this, just drop a heart if you agree with even some of it on a comment of what, you know, all of this has made you sort of see about you, about life, about yourself. Legitimately, some of you guys may not like me a lot, um, but I want you to know that I, I love you. And um, as, as a dad, it, it's like changed my whole perspective on humans because everybody's somebody's baby. And even if you're an asshole or, or you're acting like an asshole or you have, um, you know, you don't like me because of my color or whatever the case may be, I know, I still know you're somebody's baby. Somebody stayed up all night kissing you. Somebody watched you breathe. 
somebody took you to your basketball games and your baseball games, somebody helped you get ready for the prom, you are somebody's baby and so am I and so is Kobe. So let's just remember that love. Blessings and blessings. Thanks, guys.